Welcome to the second virtual antique show. Again, this is the class of Corning, featuring some of the premier makers a hundred years ago. I'm going to try to break this up into either two or three videos, but remember you can start and stop the video at any time and go back to it and look at it multiple times. Email if you have any questions, franzwig at cox.net. You may also call or text 504-975-5279. Email is a little bit better to keep track of and keep records and then send photos if you need. I can also send um, individual photos of any piece. They're all on file. So to begin with, um, <clears throat> here's a large two-part punch bowl. It's pretty grand. It has a higher pedestal than normal, so it really presents the bowl very well. Um, stunning blank, deep, deep cutting. The um, cutting seems to be J. Hoare, but I'm not sure of the pattern. It's excellent quality. It's $1,995. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Great Hopstar plug. Next to it, we have a really unique decanter set in Brunswick by Hawks. This is only the second one I've ever seen in this shape. It has a faceted neck ring, pattern cut stopper, and six matching tumblers. The set is 2750 I've actually had this in my personal collection for probably 20 years here's a really grand punch bowl it's a one part 16 inches in diameter it's magnificent cutting is incredible I'm kind of confused as to who might be the cutter the pedal effect is done by whore the split vesica field is done by Hawks. It's undoubtedly a Corning company. The uh, Gorham Sterling was typically either Hawks or Hoare. I'm leaning towards Hoare with this because they did a lot of uh, Gorham Sterling. The punch bowl is really interesting. It um, has a great monogram. Uh, it was given to Benny Schomburg from his friends at the New Orleans Chess, Checkers, and Whist Club on July 31st, 1902. The date mark on the Gorham Sterling is 1900. So here we have a 120-year-old punch bowl. It was kind of neat. This was in an auction in uh, Oakland, and then when I received the punch bowl, it turned out to have originated here in New Orleans. It's probably the nicest one I've ever had. Um, particular about the Sterling Rim ones, they're not always that great. Here's a beautiful cranberry cut to clear decanter set. It's an elongated thumbprint design. In the past, this has been attributed to Hawks, but also I think Sandwich or um, New England Glass could have done it. It's very early. The stopper is pattern cut and colored. The stems are cut to match. They have the hourglass form with the pulled teardrop and also the colored feet. So that's a pretty outstanding set and it's only $11.95. Here's another great 14 inch impressive two part punch bowl. It's cut in Acme by Jay Hoare. Pretty grand piece, heavy blank, deeply cut and it is $23.95. Excellent quality. Another J. Hoare piece is this classic Carolyn pattern uh, Napoleon's hat. I'm sorry, Bishop's hat. Great blank, um, clear, heavy, deep cutting. Carolyn's a very collectible and desirable pattern. It is $14.95. That's a beautiful piece. 
uh, a unique piece that this is only the second time I've ever seen one is this double miter 8 inch diameter low bowl and it's a double miter trellis and it's signed Eggington and it's 450. People are usually more familiar with the triple miter trellis by Eggington. It would be nice to put the two together and have them side by side. Here's a relatively new piece that I've gotten. It's Hawks Gravik Iris. It's a footed centerpiece bowl. It's uh, 11 inches, 11 and a half inches in diameter, so it's a pretty sizable piece. Nice clear blank, beautifully done uh, copper wheel engraved irises, and it has small leaf and floral sprays emanating from it. The base is also engraved. The piece is $7.95. Here's a nice Mayo set. It's cut in the Alba pattern, shown in uh, T.G. Hawks in his competitor's book by Spillman. It is $1.25. It's a little bit different. The bowl has a foot on the base rather than just being a round bottom. So that's kind of nice. Here's a rarity. It is the number one design by Sinclair, shown in on page 57 of Sinclair Volume 1. And I've never seen this pattern in real life before. It's 9 inches in diameter and sort of a blowout effect. The um, hop stars are kind of blown out and they're very deeply, deeply cut. Rare design, if you want something that you won't find in another collection, this is it. And that is $9.95. Um, a nice little piece by Hawks is their classic Holland pattern. This is an 8 inch diameter low bowl. It does have some chipping and flakes on the rim, but it's only $49 if you want an example. Uh, there's a 14 inch cake stand by Hawks in their Kuhnor pattern. It has a signed Hawks sterling base. Beautifully cut like diamonds, has channel cutting, uh, the same as panel, and that is 4500 And speaking of panel, here is a real rarity. It's a 7-inch diameter plate in panel, and this one's real. A top-rated 1-1 pattern, one of the most difficult to acquire. 7-inch plates are highly collectible, and it is $7,500. Here is a magnificent 17-and-a-half-inch footed vase by Sinclair. They rarely did large pieces, but I have three really good examples this time. The price is $2,750. It's a nice combination piece. has copper wheel engraving on the top. Hollow diamond neck with a band of hop stars in the neck. Great geometrics on the body of it. And fluted and notched along the stem. This is a cute little piece. It's a small, it's referred to as punch bowl, but it's more like an eggnog or ambrosia. It's two part. It's cut in Jehor's Limoges pattern on the top. And then the base is Stuben pattern. These are pictured in the black catalog and shown where they can be used as a combination, either as a punch bowl or a separate bowl and compote. And that is $6.95. Excellent blank, deep cutting, really pretty piece. The first piece of cut glass I ever got was a Limoges bowl, and I still have that today. Here's a great... Taza Compote, it's cut in design number 67 by Elmira, and blank is very heavy, very brilliant, the cutting is superb. Hobstar Base, all the bells and whistles, $7.95 for that beauty. And then next to it is a Jehor Monarch Tankard, it's 12 and a half inches tall, very heavy blank, fluted, notched stem, a classic by J. Hoare, and that's only 340 Then we have a square bowl by Hawks. 
The only one that I've seen similar is in Cairo, but this is much more ornate than Cairo. It has a hopstar type vesicas and then um, an Alexandria type quadrant on each corner. Blank's phenomenal, the cutting's incredible, and that's a bargain at only $3.95. Then here's a 1-1 rated Grecian pattern finger bowl by Hawks. Uh, that's a really good early pattern from the 1880s and the finger bowl is only $275. Okay, that's 10 minutes long. We'll split this up into another video.